<coughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Lama Lama 2. I'm Ran Yakuma, Dark is here with me as usual to watch me suffer and all of that. Suffer! Uh, last time, we put me on here. And you know what that means? Well, no, you don't, but. Um... No, we don't, actually. I'm about to show you. Valhalla! Yes, but actually no. We're going to the corridor of love. Oh. And then I have to try and remember which was the right direction. Might have been this one. Guess we're gonna find out. It probably wasn't. Yo, this place is so fucking creepy. Kind of the point. Mm, do you remember Mulder's impression of it? No, 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 no. This is not the right direction. Uh, oh, right. Actually, that might be the right. We. Is this direction? Just gonna go ahead and disable that. Wait, really? Huh. Okay, so that leaves. Okay, I think I got it. Easier to get from here anyway. It's just a pleasant place. Right. right. Matt's ritual measures the weight of one's heart. Since most weight balanced against Matt's feather, the body must be innocent, free of excess. Hearts that do not balance the scales will be devour devoured by Amit. Oh my. Sounds about right. More importantly. Frogs, man. Well, he's dead now. Good. I 
I forgot I need to... Look! Fuck! I forgot I need to actually open it. Well done! So, the power of the feather held by the Dark Star Lord. The power to reach ever greater heights. heights. It will pass to those who can harness the power of storms and clear the corridor. Gee, I wonder what that means. Uh -huh. Also, if you read a tablet, it kills you. And there's a... Hey there. And there's another tablet that tells you to kill the fake tablet or something like that. So you can just fear you have to kill it. Oh well, chest is open, I just have to take the long way in because I don't remember the other way to get in there. Minor details. Actually, without the feather that might be the only way to get in anyway. <laughs> Whoa. Those balls seem to kill you, by the way. Run! Right, we're back here now. And now we're here now. Yay! <laughs> Double jump! Finally. Also that. I thought you said so. Oh, I'm so stupid, I could have just done that. <laughs> Actually no, because I would have I would have been at the bottom, so yeah, I, I couldn't have reached the other side. Oh well. Well I pay attention in this one, huh? No kidding. At the peak of the Dark Star Lord's Pyramid lies the Ben Ben Stone, a throne where the recognized Lord of the Dark Star is permitted to sit. The Lord with Heaven's Mandate will arrive, will arrive at Nibiru, at Sky's Distant. Oh wait, there's a, there's a door there. Yay, double jump! <laughs> what are you? A clump of clay, clay trying to pass itself off as a living being, it seems. We, Amarna, of the fifth children, were the first race to defy the Mother's power. Whatever has transpired, I can no longer feel the Mother's power. Our beloved Ra shall rule over this world. Well, we know whose side he's on. Cool! Have a nice day. Can we shoot him in the head now? Mm, maybe later. Ooh, tablet. The Dark Star Lord's Pyramid is a means of obtaining the power of the sky. Only those who have acquired the Dark Star Lord's power will be permitted to enter. Hmm. Amen Ra. Still not enough. Just one more needs to be absorbed. Well, he fucked up. That was. Well, that was clearly Ra. Or rather, Amenra. Scrubbies. I mean, it says all right on the map. Yep. Treta Yuga, the Age of Silver. When virtue declined and people came, came to lean on ceremony. Green screen. statue. We've heard that name before. Possibly. Yep, 
It's gonna go down here before I get killed. Shortcut. Also this. The power left by the sky people is, he is hidden amidst an ancient chaos. It is the manifestation of the power that will destroy Aglana. Also jump over them. This is the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum. The land of they who plotted a path to the sky alongside their path of, of rebellion. Well, that's one thing that we time to go heal! <laughs> <laughs> and hey, we have double jump now. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. You know what that means? Yay! How do you good? Yep. <clears throat> There's also This as we haven't been to hotel, but first. So <laughs> Okay. Must fail on him. Oh yeah, I see that. J just because. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it makes him get a wig. <laughs> okay, then. I'll be here for a while, inspecting the repairs. That was probably oh. the wrong voice, but whatever. Remember this place? Hmm. Yeah, it's just a secret door, but worth it. Hey, more help. Not quite. Nope. Oh well. Guess I'm climbing up there again. Not like it's that difficult at least. Because we haven't been down here. Remember this place? It still is to the Inferno Cavern. Fun. Remember this place? Yep. I do not have the mantra for this. So instead, we're going to this place. Actually, yeah, no, no, no. We kind of missed a few things over here, so let's get them. Dwarves start being assholes. <laughs> All right, so first things first should be right over here. Yeah, I timed that right. This time. 
sword. Yeah, it's the katana. Let's improve ranch with the Vajra. Hmm. Alright, so... Where are we exactly? Ah, yeah. That's not the right way. At least we actually have double jump to get out of there now. <laughs> At least you actually have double jump to counter you being bad now. That too. Also, the katana does more damage than the chain whip. So that helps. Yeah. Actually, we haven't read this one. Those who move the white seal will taste judgment. Those who seek to undo the true seal need only place as lightweight. Yeah, we have kinda of been doing that, huh? Oh yeah, we can grab that now. Nice. Unicorn acquired. We've got quite a few entries now to read through. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to... Wrong way. <laughs> Luckily, there's one of these. Admittedly, we did see Rago down, so should probably, like, you know, we talk to people as well at some point. Probably. Alright, so it should be this way. Yeah, we can actually get there now. Assuming we don't fall down the abyss. <laughs> I, mean, I guess we could have just jumped up with the uh, uh, bots, but oh well. But how do we get in there? You might ask. That's the answer. Whack it. Alright. Let's go talk to the person that was down here while we still can. Never mind, let's not, I guess. Well, they're gone now. Good, raw. Again. <laughs> no. We will forfeit the earth for the power of heaven. We will rise to the sky by way of the Dark Star Lord's pyramid. Well, well, we're here. Bah. A human shape. A human-headed bird has materialized from the escaped soul of a dead person. It is said they will attack humans until they can transfer to a new body. This is the original from which the La Mulana version was copied. While small, there are many of them, perhaps an indication of how long the wars of Eglana have gone on for. Either. Yeah, there was exactly one of these in La Mulana. Hmm. That was one of the, the riddles we had to solve. The Scarabius. <coughs> a giant beetle that controls the movement of the sun, the Scarabius and Eglana produce spherical heaps of rocks which they will push with their hind legs. The rocks are not only heavy, they are ablaze with fire. 
It would be rather dangerous if a Scarabius was to knock one down from above. Indeed. Oh shit. It's an insta-kill. <laughs> also, yeah. It's like you can tell this is also... Um, Egyptian. <laughs> Brother of Osiris, elected deity of the underworld. Your brothers hate one another. Set is originally an Ennead, but is seeing through Ra's idealistic posturing. He joined the um, Amarna... Aman... Is it Amana or Mama? What? Amarna. I'm bad. Amarna, okay. In hopes of actually realizing uh, Ra's ideals. Speaking my screen which. is weird about it. Ra. Is a genius and the most powerful being born among the fifth children. Desired power of the sun and the outside world, and even considered the idea of freeing the children from the mother. However, there are few who agreed with his ideas, resulting in a splitting of his race. And a oh, yeah, those assholes. The soldiers have left their dead corpses and taken on their own form. Those who fail to enter the underworld remain floating about Eglana. And once again, Underworld is in... has a caps at the... Kushan. Uh, we already read it, his. Oh right, it's just that. Because you died and we never went back on it. Mm. Uh, oh, oh my. Oh right, we never read those, did we? Delphine. Child born to Orthus, Orthrus and Echidna the Gigas. Delphine is the lower body of a snake, but is not one of the first children. She's part of the Chimera experiments. Experiments left her with fearsome strength and wields a gigantic axe. Okay then. Learning it. Oh god, that's fucking ugly. Yep. Also a child of them. It appears to be a five-headed snake-like monster, but it was in fact a human subjected to the Chimera experiments. Only the face in the center remains as a reminder of the human origin. Nimian lion, another child of them, lost his human body entirely, replaced with the body of a lion through Typhon's Chimera technology. The muscles beneath his skin have strengthened, and his coat of fur is tougher than metal armor. You know, this Chimera stuff is looking like a bunch of bullshit. Yep. A Porphion, Porphyrian. A warrior of the Gigas, he gained fame hunting the remaining second children and battling the Olympians. After he was defeated, he chose to spend the rest of his life, the rest of his days, leading a peaceful life. Anyone else here now? He seems to, you know, have not hit that end of life yet. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes, Elder Zelpud <clears throat> was responsible for protecting the La Mulana ruins till their destruction. Now he simply seems he simply enjoys life. He turned La Milana into a tourist spot, bringing in visitors and also hefty profits. Once a hardcore lover of video games, Zelput is now all about finance. He dresses up all snazzy-like, and women serve him hand and foot. Though he did hire the women to do that. Money. Yeah. Does wonders. Until it runs out. Mm-hmm. Gyotorio. One out of four philosophers, Gyotorio is the philosopher of knowledge. Since the destruction of the La Molona ruins, he has been traveling the globe in pursuit of missing relics snatched by grave robbers and thieves. In particular, he searched for the Mulana Talisman, an artifact strongly associated with the sealing of the ruins. Yep. Isn't that one of the ones, you know, we took in the last game? Yep. <laughs> she may want it seems she may want it back. <clears throat> Hurria. One of the few surviving fairies in Eglana, Herja may not have the strength to break down walls, but she will stick a special mark on places that may contain secrets, which can be just as helpful. She doesn't have much interesting interest in puzzle solving, simply marking the places that seem to be hiding something. However, there are likely to be puzzles only she can solve. I don't recall seeing her. We haven't yet. That's the key fairy. We haven't. Remember, now we have to release them. Oh. That's enough reading for now, I think. <laughs> By the way, I remember all of those walls with grids we have been taking pictures of. Sure. Oh, 
No. <laughs> uh, let's avoid that for now. With this much power, fusion with our ultimate weapon, nothing should be possible. Okay then. Look in which direction the race from the anchor coming from. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah, we're gonna have to solve that puzzle to beat the boss here. Figures. Technically, we're gonna have to solve that puzzle twice because, you know, get off the end. Yeah. Also, map. The Dark Star Lord could harness storms. How helpful. There's a. There's a shop in here. Thank you, helpful alert. I wonder where the shop could be. I wonder. Oh, what the fuck? She's got the other fatal. That's a she? Uh, he... whatever. Got anything to say? The second oldest of three odd brothers who captured the last of the fairies. No one knows their race or origin. He can speak, but for some reason his speech is stilted. Oh shit. What the fuck even is it? Hmm. If even the glossary doesn't know. Right, now we can go here. I think. Alright, so we went to the left. Yeah, we did go to the left. We did get the map. Warning! Um... <sighs> Hot! Okay, we have trigger uh, that guy. That that's all showing up there. So let's go elsewhere. Time to be really fucking reckless. At least we have the ice cloak. Sometimes you just need to be a little reckless. Yeah. This path is the path of unruly flames. The sitting treetop presiding over the giant sorter. Those not born of here have no hope of survival. You say that, but I seem to be doing just fine. Alright. Right. We can't uh, could have done this a while ago, but... Yay! If it, if it is the flow of water you wish to defy, the treasure of the dwarves will serve. Written by Tainia. But mm. yeah, we kind of already got that. Yeah, it's theirs. What's it is? Inanna. Well, she's the first children. My body yeah. was hung in the underworld, left to decay. This was my punishment for daring to enter the underworld living. Hmm. Do you have anything else to say about it? Not nope. yet. We have this one. Yep, first child. A woman who ventured down into the underworld while still alive. She went to visit her sister, the ruler of the underworld of the first children, who received the death penalty for approaching the throne while living. The body now decayed. Only her spirit remains to warn those who get too close to the underworld. But oh, that was rude. Yep. There is the last of the cosmetic outfits. <laughs> Water flows from the eye of chaos. It watches the conflict between angel and demon and weeps at the, dis at the disparity in power. That's also a hint for another area. 
Oh, hey, you didn't shove here. So, uh, quite a long time ago we had a hint about gazing at the feet of the beard or something. Anyway, the heated waters of the plains gush with power. The power to surpass the body's limits, the power to erase stabbing pain, the power to ease that which leaves the hand. Anyway. Steven. I guess it's more obvious if you're not with the shield, bro. And this guy... Anyway. What the fuck? Hey you, this husband will make your skin smooth as an egg. It will be so smooth that it will be impervious to even water and lava. How about it? It's accurate, but it's also temporary. So you can just get temporary immunity to all water and lava. Hey then. I actually forgot another hot spring that I could have gone He's into a for an NPC. Yep. A canine monster with human level intelligence? This powerful mind led him to dig up pot springs and set up shop. Bit of a rough personality though. <laughs> that just, that? that infuriates me. But that looks annoying, doesn't it? That's a word for it. Ratatos course slumbers. Trace the illusion's path and see it. Then the true body will awaken. Oh, there it is! Go figure. I mean, this is technically one of the first areas, so of course it didn't. It wasn't too far away with the hints. Seek audience with the mistress of the underworld hell, must first gain my permission. Permit me. To reach hell, you must first enter the eternal prison. To enter the eternal prison, prison, you must defeat the terrible beard Vidofnir. To defeat Vidofnir, you will need the power of flame. Surtur's wife, Sinmara, possesses the power of flame. You will need the light side in order to receive the power of flame from Sinmara. The light side lies inside the eternal prison. Therefore, you cannot reach hell. Isn't there something you can do? If you absolutely insist, you could try speaking to others familiar with the underworld. I shall not stop you. I memorized it. Or rather, I screenshotted this. So yeah, that was a thing. It's a, it's a few hints and stuff. Good say. More importantly... Fairy Guild Pass! Okay then. We needed that, didn't we? Probably. A membership card for an underground guild that deals in the capture and trade of life fairies. We're gonna need a lot of money. Luckily, we know where the money fight is. <laughs> yeah. That thing's tough. That also drops a good bit of money. Mm hmm. Remember this place? Hello. Who gave the monkey a lightning rod? This is the only reason to unlock this entrance. <laughs> but it is indeed an important reason. 
hearing hear the moon rises speak to that effect. Well, we know what speak means. And we've got the, gotten the hint that we need the sun for the moon to rise. Hmm. Clever. Also, yes, that red eye would have completely fucking destroyed us if we had used any other combination. <laughs> also, that. Record the mantra. Money. Yay, we have the moon now. Wonder what will happen if you don't take this friend seriously. You'll wind up like me. What I say, not as I did. Take a good, long, hard look at yourself. <laughs> hey, we got a... Um... Check them. That guy's still frozen. We can cross over now, though. The first of this. The Arseer's Prophecy. She sees the final land's vortex, a heavy price being paid, and then a memory of the final gate being tried upon. By excessive power and the price it demands, and murderous, blood-drenched intent. Kevin. Um, that's gonna mean more later. So, yep, Borid Fortress. Anyway, we can just go back down here now. We do have the anchor, so this should be fine. That is our frigid water, so... There are size mixed in with that there water. Even with the skills here, the cold is probably gonna chip away at your health. Yes, yes it will. Worth it though. This is the ice fire treetop, the frozen treetop born of the valley of chaos. Whack. Actually, I should go heal. Probably. I should also probably have just used the other <laughs> way to go out, but you know, whatever. So, yeah, now we have that is that teleport point. Very nice. In the way, for now, I hope you all have fun. And next time, we'll continue exploring and stuff. So, yeah, bye bye. Laters.